up, what up? That's Numb His Squad, and welcome back, guys. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl, yes, Mel. Yes. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Hell to the end, yeah, guys, because you know what? We're back with another video. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So we got some good energy and some good some content. Good energy and some good content. So, babe, what we got today? All right, babe. Today we will be watching mm -hmm. Truth About the White Slave Trade. Uh-oh. So this is Forgotten History Clips. Ah. And I am excited to learn more about this. I like knowledge. I like learning about we, things that I don't we know. We were just informed that white slavery existed. We didn't know that white people I'm like, whoa. You know, we're like, slaves. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, we everything is coming to the light. We never this in school. We never knew everything is coming it. to the light. And I'm just thirsty for this knowledge right now because so I just want to know, you know. So, guys, before we get into this video, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. We're gonna go dive straight into it. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's get into it. <laughs> One situation which has gone largely unnoticed in history was Jefferson being the first president to send the military overseas into direct action, the war against the Barbary pirates. For decades prior to Jefferson's accession to office, the Barbary Coast pirates of North Africa had been capturing foreign merchants and warships, stealing their valuable cargoes and enslaving crew members, while often demanding huge ransoms for their release. Wow. Many of these ships and crews were American. Before independence, American merchant ships were protected from the Barbary pirates by the naval and diplomatic influence of Great Britain, which had threatened the use of military force should their ships be molested. However, that American protection came to an end after the colonies won their independence. The Barbary pirates also attacked the coastal northern Mediterranean, launching attacks against France, Italy, and Sicily, kidnapping women as white slaves, primarily and whenever possible, notable wealthy persons and ships for ransom. In their feverish search for white women slaves, a few pirates even went as far as the coast of Iceland, raiding inland to kidnap women and bring them back to North Africa. North African slave markets thrived, as, under Islamic law, known as Sharia, although fellow Muslims could not be enslaved, non-Muslims could be and were. Over a period of more than 300 years, it is estimated that one million white Europeans, to include those captured at sea as well as through land raids abroad, were enslaved. Many of these one were million? Captured. Whoa! Whoa. I, I never heard. Hold on. Wow. You mean to tell me the pirates? Yep. They wow. captured them and they held them for ransom. So it was like a business. Like, come over here they if you want. Them, I'm, we're going to take ransom. you, put you into slavery, and put a price on you. And some of these people were like wealthy people. They were wealthy. So if you want your people back. And they took all their belongings and all their valuables and stuff. Yeah. Like, Great. this is like. Like I said, wow. he molested the ships, took everything. Highway robbery. This is crazy. This is so deep. Um, let's keep wow. going. Here we go. Wow. Never learned this in school. No, but they didn't tell us this. I think they told us something about Kunta Kinte, and that was about it. The I'm Greeks. not. I didn't. That's I not watched real. Greeks one time. That wasn't a true story. And that wasn't a true story. No. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I don't even want to dive into that. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. In 1794, in reaction to the attacks, Congress had passed a law authorizing the payment of tribute to the Barbary states. Part of that law was the Naval Act of 1794, which authorized the construction of six frigates establishing the United States Navy. By the end of the 1700s, when Jefferson was Secretary of State, the United States had concluded treaties with all of the Barbary states, the Ottoman regencies of Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli, along with independent Morocco. When Congress authorized $80,000 for Morocco to not molest American shipping, it was considered a good deal as it was a cost savings when compared to the loss of ships, cargo, and sailors. The Bay of Algiers, Mustafa Baba, also agreed, and many American merchantmen were escorted by Portuguese warships, as Portugal also had a treaty with the Islamic States. But Jefferson was opposed to paying tribute, which he considered to be a modern Danegeld. Wow. The Saxon England paid the Danish Vikings not to attack. It did not work. Although Morocco and Algiers initially agreed, just weeks before Jefferson took office, Tripoli began attacking American merchant ships in an attempt to extract further tribute. Jefferson had seen enough. 
Jefferson tried diplomacy, and his letter to Pasha Yusuf Karamanli emphasized. If you enjoyed this clip and want to see the full wow. episode version, I need to hear some here, more of that. And it will take you to it. And as usual, you want to click there. If you there? like the video, subscribe. Absolutely, like, we're going to do that. Thanks. Send us comments, and if you wish to really help us offset wow. the cost of production, please go to our Patreon page and become a member. And we do appreciate it. Thank you. All right. It's in one age. Wow. Okay, that was so deep. That was so deep. Um, because we never knew, we never learned this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We never got a chance to learn this stuff. Goodness. Um, and they try to pay these guys off and they still attack the, the, the ships. Yep. So we pay you <laughs> to leave us alone and you still attack and take over and do whatever you... And these are pirates. I never knew that white slave that they had white slaves. This is just so like, white so slavery deep. was a thing, you know. And yes. this is crazy. We never learned any of the true history. The true history. You know of how slavery started. You know, and these were Americans. Like, Americans, yes. Americans the were United going States. over. Yeah, they were yes. going over to Africa. Be uh, and you know, it was like. So what I'm learning is Africans, they had sold our ancestors off and they also took white Americans. It's, it just seemed like, you know. And, you know, um, held them for ransom. It just seemed like the truth is Ooh, just not, uh, it's not out. But we are, we, are, we are thirsty for the truth. We're going to find out. Gracious. We want to know. This you know is crazy. Saying? I've never known any of this. I, I just, I just want to know the information. Was never taught any of this, and it's like wow. And I'm pretty sure there are lots of people out there. There's a lot of people out there who doesn't know, know this. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, wow. I wonder if there's still slaves, you know, in Africa now, today. Does slavery exist in Africa today? That's a good question. If you know this, let us know in the comment section because it seems like Africa was a huge part of slavery. But now it's like a different type of... Yes. Now it's like sex trafficking and stuff. And, you know, it's like turned over to okay. something else. It transitioned to something else. But, you know, I don't... I'm not sure. I, I mean, I think a slave is a slave, you know. A slave is a slave. You know what I'm saying? Um... You're basically doing something that someone back got dominion in, over you and they tell you what to do. Yeah, and it was and also sex. The slaves, you know, had to have sex with their masters and whoever the masters were entertaining, they had to have sex with Modern them. Day slavery. You know, it's slavery. It's sad, but true. And um, we just want the truth. You know, we want to dig into it. Yeah. And just, you know, um, because I just love hearing these older stories. You know, I history. love to hear the history of yes. the United States and how things happen and yes. um, how we how got it all came together. Right here, right we now, always today. hear about black people being slaves and it's always being thrown out there. Yeah, but then you know, doing our research, we figured out like, you wow, to me, right? this is Africans were the ones who were yes. selling, selling our slaves. ancestors. Right. Right. For, for like whiskey. Yeah. For small things. Tobacco, they were selling stuff. our ancestors for, over for here to America. And flour and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so But you know, um it's just good to have that wisdom. We're just on this knowledge. journey of truth. Yeah. Yes. If you have any knowledge, let us know in the comment section if you have any videos you would like for us to react to. Yes, we would love you know, to you know, to just broaden our awareness of slavery yeah. and how it all started, let us know in the comment section. Please, guys, fill up that comment section. And we appreciate wow. you guys being here with us. Learn something new every day. Yeah, I right. Love it. I love it. Me too. I love it. All right. That's our time, guys. We're about to sign off. Go ahead and smash that like button. Get this video a big fat thumbs up. All and right. we appreciate all the love and support. Yes. All right. We up out of here. Peace.